So I've been following Claudia Slusky since 2012 when she was Beyond Beauty star here on YouTube. And back in quarantine, she posted this video where she showed us how she plans out her day on her iPad. In terms of like jotting down my daily tasks, very much was hot and cold with it. I've recently started using my iPad again. I am just way more likely to be carrying this around with me than this. Being an avid iPad user and a digital planner designer, I knew I had to try out Claudia Slusky's digital planning routine and test it out for you guys. Claudia is an extremely successful woman. She is an established creator in this space. She is an actress. She's had her own clothing line with Nordstrom and the list goes on and she is a very busy woman. So I am going to take any planning tips I can get from her. In this video, I'll show you tips to make a planner in Procreate. I'll show you a step-by-step -step recreation of a Claudia's planner, and I will also be trying out some of her top productivity tips. I will have both of Claudia's videos where she talks about her planner linked below, and I'm assuming you're already subscribed to her, but if not, definitely go binge watch all of her YouTube videos. She's awesome, and let's jump into it. All right, before we design Claudia's planner, I'm gonna go over a couple of Procreate tips that will make your life so much easier when drawing out your planner. So the first tip I have is when you're drawing a straight line, all you have to do is hold on the tail end and you will see that it locks in place and it creates a straight line. So that is one way to create a straight line within Procreate. The second way is to go up into your action toolbar. You're going to want to click on canvas and then from there, you're going to want to toggle on the drawing guide and hit edit drawing guide. And once you are here, you will see this has a bunch of different capabilities that I go over in my Procreate drawing video. But for now, you're just going to hit animated drawing. You can adjust the thickness, opacity, grid size, grid color of this. And this is going to create a drawing guide that will make it super easy to draw straight lines. So as you can see, when the drawing guide is toggled on, I'm just drawing haphazardly and it's making all of my lines extremely straight. This is great for drawing to-do list lines, grids, schedule layouts, whatever you need. Straight lines are a must whenever drawing your digital planner. The next tip I have for you guys is how to draw a perfect square in Procreate. This is great for little note-taking boxes. And all you have to do is again, grab your pencil tool, and with the drawing guide on, you can see that it's drawing straight lines and you can just create your perfect square. Another really easy way to do this without the drawing guide is just to draw a square hold it and it will snap into place. Then you are going to want to physically tap the screen with your finger and that will make it a perfect rectangle. And from here, you can adjust the size uh, using the select tool and you can morph it to be whatever size you want. So you can get the perfect square or perfect rectangle. Again, this is great for note boxes, for little to-do list boxes, whatever you need. The next tool that we will be using is the text tool. So all you're going to do is head over to that add button and hit add text and you can see from here that you have text pop up and to edit this all you have to do is tap into it and then you're just going to tap the keyboard to edit the text and if you want to edit the font and all of that kind of stuff you're just going to want to click on the font within there and it will bring up this whole panel um, and from here you can click all different kinds of different fonts you can edit the size kerning tracking all of that kind of stuff really make it your own make it exactly how you like it now let's get into recreating claudia slusky's planner on procreate so the first thing i'm going to do is add text at the top of her planner she has this little like personal manifesto that has basically just like a little reminder to herself that she can choose the path that she wants to each and every day and she can use her thoughts and actions to create a life that she is excited to wake up to every single day she has some affirmations in there i think this is a great way to start off your planning session it gives you a little reminder as to 
why you're planning your day why are you writing down all of these tasks habits reminders and things and i think sometimes it can get a little bit overwhelming so when you have your why right there um, within your planner i think it serves as a great reminder and i really like that she had this in there the next section she had in there was today's plan so this is essentially her to-do list or schedule um, i think she actually did schedule this out by time i didn't end up doing that i just did a basic to-do list i used the font called avenir next and i just bumped up the tracking of the letters so that it was a little bit spaced out like she had it and i'm not sure if this is the exact font she used i just chose that one it's one I use all the time and I really like it and from here I just went ahead and I used that same square and line technique that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video although I believe whenever I was actually making this I forgot to use the drawing guide to perfectly space out those lines so that is a mistake that I made and I definitely recommend using the drawing guide so you get those exact perfect crisp lines. That's the biggest challenge of using any sort of creative app, whether it's Procreate, Illustrator, etc. Final Cut, is remembering all of these tips and tricks that are within the app. At her top section, she had one for Manny, which was her assistant or is her assistant, and I do not have an assistant, so I just typed in habits. Okay, so what you do here, once you get to this point, that will make it easier is once you have these two layers you will pinch it like that together and then you pinch it together so now these are in one layer and you can hit duplicate bring that those down you can also like tap the screen just to move it slightly then you just pinch again duplicate this just makes the process really easy okay again squish together duplicate I just went in using the same process again that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video using the text tool straight line trick and the box tool and I just went in and recreated the exact layout that right. she had so of course you can plan right here in procreate but I'm going to export it into good notes which is a note-taking app um, on the iPad it is eight dollars it is my favorite app I use it constantly and all you're gonna do is just go to share and you are gonna wanna sh uh, save it as a PDF file. I'm gonna hit best and it will export this and you can open it right up in GoodNotes. So I'm just gonna tap GoodNotes, untitled, maybe we will title it daily to-do list. And now you have this file within good notes and you can write over it with all of the good notes features highlighters all that kind of stuff so one of claudia's main tips was to plan her day at night the day before i used to go back and forth i would do my to-do lists in the morning or just way too early when i get into bed my mind immediately starts racing and creating lists of the things that i didn't do on this day or the things that i have to do tomorrow writing down lists and writing down what you need to do will help to just clear your mind and let you actually shut down versus trying to remember like okay i need to do this i need to do this just write it down once you write it down then you're good so this does two different things. This helps set you up for a productive day the next day because you already have everything written out and you can just wake up and get going. And this also helps you to truly unwind at night. I do usually plan in the mornings because I like to film it for different social media accounts. But ever since I filmed this video and I tried planning at night, I really found that this helped me so much. Not only was I more productive the next day because I was able to just get up and go, but I also was able to truly unwind at night. Knowing that I had my whole day planned the next day, I was able to, you know, cook and watch TV and read and just really turn off my brain, which is something I'm usually really struggling with how to do that.
Overall, I really enjoy the layout of this planner. It's very similar to some of the planners I have on my shop, although I do not usually put in the buying section and I don't have that personal manifesto at the beginning either. So these are some fun things to try out. All right, so I just finished planning up my day and uh, feeling good. I like, I really like having it done the night before because I feel ready to just go about my evening and relax and I'm gonna go for a walk, you know, unwind and cook and everything for the evening. And it's just nice knowing that I already have tomorrow's plan already and I can kind of just let it go, you know? I don't have to think about it. Now that I have it all written down, I feel good and prepared. Um, my voice always gets really weird whenever I'm talking in front of the camera, but yeah. One of the first tips she gave was to actually get ready for the day. This is something I've been trying to do more and more of. I've been working from home now for over two years, I think, maybe just about two years, but it can get so repetitive and easy to just stay in your sweatpants and hair in a bun. But I do have to say the days I put on just a little bit of tinted moisturizer, a cute comfy outfit, brush my hair, just little things like that. You don't have to get full on ready, but it really does help separate the day and get you in the productive work mood. Her next tip is a tip we've all heard before and that is to make your bed in the morning and I guess the theory behind this is that it really just helps set off your day. It's something so easy you can do in the morning and it helps set the tone for the rest of your day. I personally am trying to do this more and more this year. Just make sure that I'm keeping my space tidy and doing a quick cleanup. and whenever I make my bed in the morning, I try to keep it really fast. I also just wanted to show here that I was checking in throughout the day, checking off my to-do list, and just making sure that I was on track. Claudia's next tip was to set a 20 minute timer for tasks. She said that this was the perfect amount to just quickly do any task you have. And I have this time timer that I've shared before. It's from Amazon. I will have it linked below. And I really like this because it's not connected to my phone. So I'm not tempted to go down the TikTok rabbit hole or anything like that. I really do enjoy this, especially when it comes to work tasks that I know can be knocked out really quick, but sometimes I will take way too long, get too in the weeds with it. So I really like using this 20 minute timer for quick work tasks like emails or designing a quick Instagram picture or something like that, that I know that should only take, you know, 15, 20 minutes. And having that timer there really does keep you accountable and helps you stay focused within those 20 minutes. Another tip Claudia gave was to use podcasts and audiobooks to help entertain you while you're doing certain tasks, whether it's cleaning, washing the dishes, or anything like that. It's something that can help pass the time. Some of my favorite podcasts are the Skinny Confidential and Emma Chamberlain's podcast, and I also just really enjoy listening to music. I absolutely love making Spotify playlists. I have so many, and I will have my Spotify linked below. By the end of the day, using this planner, I had had an extremely productive day. I think I checked off almost all of my to-do list items, and I think the major part of this whole routine, of Claudia's routine that I really learned from, was planning my day the night before. I think it really changed the game. It allowed me to be able to read, unwind, and really just check out for the day, which made me rest and recharge and have an even better day the next day. So. If you take anything from this video, I would definitely try that out. I had so much fun. Overall, I really enjoyed trying out Claudia's digital planning routine. I had a really great time. I feel like it was extremely effective and all of her productivity tips really resonated with me. And again, I will have all of Claudia's videos and socials linked below. I'm sure you guys already follow her, but just in case you don't, definitely go check her out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.